two instead of two and one. That's happened a couple times this season. That would have been back to back weeks where you were two and one. So you, look, you're, we're back on the bandwagon now. Yeah, I have faith in. You. Okay, let's see okay. how you do this week. Right, let's start with Cal at UCLA, the number twenty team in the nation. In Cal, UCLA's defense depleted so far this year. What do you think, Jared Goff and that team pass all over? I think Jared Goff will be able to pass all over because look, Cal hasn't been able to stop anyone this season. They basically relied on the arm of quarterback Jared Goff. And look, it's a must-win game for both teams. If Cal wants to stay in contention in the Pac-12 North, they've got to get this win. If UCLA wants to stay in contention, not fall too far behind Utah in the Pac-12 South, they need this win. So it's a must-win for both teams. UCLA is playing at home. They play much better defensively at home, as well as Josh Rosen at the quarterback position. So I think UCLA will be able to come away with the win, even though they've been a little bit depleted on defense. They've still been able to maintain some of that effectiveness, especially in the back end with those uh, the corners and the safeties. What about the ACC? Georgia Tech and Florida State, a rematch of last year's ACC championship game. Different Georgia Tech team this year, though. They averaged 50 times a game running the football. Florida State, ninth-ranked defense in the entire country. Where do you see this one? You know, usually this is a tough matchup because Georgia Tech wants a triple option. I think that's why this line is so small, only really giving five points to Georgia Tech. I think Florida State will be able to beat them by at least ten in this matchup. They've got the better athletes, they've got a better running game, and they've got a better quarterback in Everett Golson. So this, to me, um, shouldn't be an issue for them. I mean, look, Georgia Tech's lost five straight. They're 0-4 in the ACC. I don't see Florida State having any issue going to Atlanta and getting this win. Good luck stopping Dalvin Cook, by the way, if you're the Georgia oh. Tech Yellow Jackets defense. How about this line? Utah and USC, <laughs> the number three team in the country as of right now, is an underdog in this matchup. Right? The only worry I have about this bet is basically the line moving on me like it did last week. I mean, look, Utah is playing outstanding on both sides of the football. USC is in complete dismay right now with their program, so I, I don't see how this is going to fare well for a USC team that hasn't been able to stop the run the whole season. Quarterback Travis Wilson for Utah has continued to get better, and head coach Kyle Whittingham has his defense playing lights out. Cody Kessel's in for a long day. So, if the line doesn't change, you've got Utah plus three and a half. You've got to think the line's going to change throughout the week. I think it's going to change throughout the week, but I actually think Utah is going to be able to win by at least a touchdown. So, I don't know if it will move that much. If the line stays, you're 3-0 this week. That's my prediction. 3-0. Okay. I hope see, so. You see the recap here. Three and a half, you've got UCLA, plus five for Florida State. And as the line stands right now with the number three team in the country, you've got them as a three and a half point underdog right now. They are. Yeah. But you've got them as the favorite. Those are Brady's best bets presented by Apple.